Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Peglin. Ignore the fact that it says continue. I did not play a game of Peglin between last run and this run. Funnily enough, all I did was I launched the game to like adjust sound settings. And even though it wasn't selected as my main window, typing on my keyboard made me start a run. I don't know why. It was very uh, unfortunate though. Main Peglin character bosses have increased health. Let's do it. Keep the round robin going. All attacks get plus zero plus one. All attacks apply spin faction. Enemies don't get their extra turn. You know, early, I kind of do like extra spin faction. It's 10 damage per shot minimum, which really does help to kill a lot of the early game weak enemies. We could get better crits, but if we don't crit, then this is not gonna be that useful early. And in the late game, plus one doesn't really matter that much. One spin infection is not gonna matter, but we'll take grubby gloves. There's also um, a benefit here to the decoy orb. I think we want the damage. And hopefully we can crank through quickly. Well, how quickly can we really crank through the cruise balls? We'll get through them as we win the runs, hopefully. Don't lose any runs and then we can start to think about what we're actually gonna be doing on the later Crucible levels, because I wanna learn about those ones. Oop, F. I, I can't wait to see what Crucible 17, 18 have in store. I hear they get devilish, but we'll get there one day. And we're on 2x speed again. Uh, honestly, I kinda wish that there was a 1.8. I think that would be perfect. Because 1.5, it's it's good enough for me, I think. It could be a little bit faster, but really, a 1.8 would be like perfect. Okay, we hit two bombs. This guy is starting to die. We need to hit the other bombs. Because that's gonna be the thing that actually kills the tree stump. I'm reloading. I also want to get the money down here, but that's a lower priority, I assume. Game speed should be a slider, says username. I mean, I can understand uh, this, the, the setup that they have right now. I just don't understand why you have to go back to the main menu to change it. <laughs> you know, like games like Monster Train, you know, they have discrete speed settings, but you can change it in the middle of a run. You don't have to back out to the main Freaking menu. We have 36 money. Not bad. Koban Orb. It doesn't really give you that much extra money. Rub Orb, I actually think could be a lot of fun. Just add one big bouncy orb to the deck. The Reorbanizer, it actually has pretty good stats, but I, I most of the time don't care about shuffling. Most of the, you will find yourself in situations where you can't hit the refresh. So maybe we, maybe we do want to have, you know, one shuffler in the deck. You can always discard it, which will shuffle the crits and the refreshes, but maybe you don't want to shuffle it. Uh, give me a 2425. Give me a rubber orb. I'll do it. That be ooh, ooh, ooh. That being said, I will be looking for a piercing orb to add next. That's even more important. A strong monster. It's an elite fight. It's going to be a little difficult to do this early, but uh, well, let's just not fail. Usually you don't want to get elite fights this early in the game. We do have a little bit of extra poison, but that's that's not enough. At least not enough right now. Although this is going to be a really nice shot on the big floating bag of slime. 1000 HP, that's a lot of slime. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Eh, good early bomb. 
Enemies are still alive, but that's okay. If we can hit another bomb, that'll kill everything. Let's uh, work on maybe a refresh. Not bad. Early game elite fights are very dangerous. What a bounce. What the hell is this ball doing? Spinfection is gonna be really nice to have here. Just as some way of dealing extra damage. Let's hit the refresh. I missed the refresh. And we're gonna reload. So we're gonna take uh, a couple of points. Took a small amount of damage. You know what, don't hit the refresh then, hit the bomb. Good stuff, we should have, yeah, rainbow slime coming out soon. We are not going to be killing the rainbow slime, unfortunately. That's okay, you don't have to kill the rainbow slime. Good refresh, good crit. Oh, you're dead. Ultimately, this was not a bad fight at all. I had a good time on this elite fight. Everything's dead. We took five points of damage. That's pretty good early results, honestly. And I don't know, maybe we can get super lucky and get the crit. No, all right. Goodbye, slime. Chemiball Hazard applies poison slime. Targeted enemy takes 10 damage for each poison slime on the board. It is very, very weak on its own, and it provides a little bit of passive damage. It's not the best orb. Gains plus one, plus two for every 18 coins held when fired. The Spintrist Payment. That could be a pretty good orb. You know, if you get 200 bucks and you have the 18 coin upgrade, this is... you know, plus 10, plus 20. This is like a, was Poison Slime AoE? No, it's only one target. It's kind of like a Highway Orbery, except you just hold the money. I think I might add it and try to make it work. Whenever a shield is created, gain Bulwark. Whenever crit is triggered, deal damage. All attacks have Echo. That's very interesting. Deal your orbs crit times number of crits to all enemies. I'm gonna take the Echo. And we're gonna go for the money. Look, there's not much I can do about this except just, you know, try again. So I think we're gonna ignore the shop because we don't have the cash. Question mark nodes have a chance to be treasure and better rare. New circle or spinesse every four refreshes. Um, I'm gonna take the treasure book again. We definitely do not have enough money. If we go left though, we can get multiple elites. So we can go empty node, chest, question mark, elite. But there's a chest there though. So we can go down here, fight an elite, maybe hit up a shop. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to the com early combat. Let's start getting money and scaling. I think I would rather, especially in the early game, get more money and upgrade orbs before anything else. What? Just like poor damage. Luckily though, we've got the bombs. You know, let's let's get the money, upgrade our current orb. Orbs. And actually getting money means that this thing is just gonna be better. Doesn't quite have enough lovely cash right now to even be more than a plus one plus two, but I'm assuming oh, I was kinda hoping we would get seven cents from that. That did not happen. Give me a refresh. We're close. We're close. Money works well, works well with the Spintrist Orb. That's what I'm thinking exactly. If we get lots of cash, this thing's gonna do a lot of damage. Now, do we have any piercing orbs? We do not. 
So we either don't spend the money at all, or we upgrade like a bouncy orb and then this orb. This orb also needs to be upgraded. What's coming up next? Another combat. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade, let's upgrade nothing. Bomb orb is basically piercing. Yeah, but also not really. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I went to the question mark and I skipped a node. Just absolute brain fart. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Realistically, I wasn't thinking. Well, okay, you know what? That's fine. We'll just, we'll live with it. Was the laser orb good? I, I've honestly never tried it. It doesn't seem good though, but. I should use it one of these days. Well, I, I I don't know what I was thinking going to the right path. Just a complete waste. Uh, we missed out on... Could you, like, actually kill these enemies, please? Hit the bombs more. We missed out on multiple paths, but... Upgrades each peg hit the necro ball. I like a good buckle orb. I think I'm going to... Let's upgrade Spintrist once and then go. After getting some more money, of course, because we need the cash. I never feel like Laser Orb is strong, but it's always humorous, says the Nor. I, need, I gotta take it one of these days. Refresh perspective is very good. Bombs could also be good, but I think the refresh is better. Because you're all, you're almost always going to be refreshing your orbs, or your pegs, rather. An extra discard? I'll take it. Try to stay on target this time and go in the direction we want to go in. And I'm starting to think, actually, that maybe the... Uh, Spintrist is not a good orb to have early because I want to spend a lot of money early. You know, I don't want to really... Oh, good refresh. I don't really want to be saving the cash. I want to be spending the cash as much, much as possible. So yeah, maybe, maybe we took the wrong call there, really. Well, we're gonna get hit. Ugh. Really, I just need to hit the freaking exclamation mark. Actually, not even, you're dead. Bully ball. Eye circle. On crit pierces all enemies. I think it will add that to the deck. Targeted attacks also hit nearby enemies. Man, if only we had a targeted damage orb, because that would be fantastic. When you heal, deal triple damage. When you crit, gain spinets. Whenever you heal, deal triple the recovered health as damage to the targeted enemy. I don't have healing. We don't have targeted attacks, do we? No. Let's take crits, give spinets. You never know. Now, do we go to the shop? I don't know, we could remove a, a pebble, but we have extra discards. So I actually feel like it might be better off for us, oh, I wanted more money, to hit the question mark, see if we can get natural removal. Duplicate an orb. leave. That's not a very good option early. Take the smithing hammer, use the satchel, use the forge. I think we would just want to upgrade because we don't really want to add too many more. Oh, it's random. Screw it. Do it. Do it. Leave. We picked up a few random upgrades to orbs that we actually want, which was pretty good. No, no pebbles three times in a row. I can't believe it. Be 
real question is, can we kill the seal uh, before the seal could kill us, or should we heal? I think we gotta heal. Which is gonna reduce the damage of Spintrist, but, you know, maybe we can still have good use of that orb later. Yeah, Spintrist, I, I don't think we should have taken it this early. We should have taken better early orbs. You know, I'll attack you. All right, this is gonna be exceptional overkill for you. Never mind. <laughs> it's going to exactly kill you because the refresh is not in the best spot. Oh! I don't see the message, but Agrochrysia, thank you. Kaka. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Well, I hope. Okay, this guy, he might... He might end up doing some damage to me, because I seem to have a hard time hitting him right now. Alright, he's dead. Conquer! <laughs> Research points. Ether Wheel, Two's Company, Dag Orb, Infern Orb. No thank you. Instead, we're gonna upgrade. And then honestly, I'm gonna upgrade one more time, and now I don't have to worry about upgrading orbs ever again. We have we have at least three that are stacked up in the deck, max level. I'm waiting for my vacation, says Chrissia. You're waiting for your vacation. I hope you have a good vacation then. Is it are you waiting for it to arrive, like in the mail? Give me a rub orb. Bouncy. Man, that tree is gonna eat it. <laughs> 300 damage to a tree, pretty good. There we go. Got a refresh, did 100 damage. Not bad at all. In fact, I think we almost could have done this without even needing to uh, heal. I mean, I'm glad we are healing, but we almost didn't have to. What a bad roll. I'm, you know, I'm glad we did. <clears throat> glad we did heal in hindsight. Uh, I think we're gonna get hit here. Get the kill tree achievement. Already did it, did it a long time ago. Yeah, it's gonna be mighty close. Now we have almost killed the tree. The tree's dead. Hmm, can I, can I, I, th I think I'm dead, you do five damage. Three, <laughs> oh no. Okay, 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 we have, okay. We have to do 95 damage. And then we have to do 95 damage or 221 to kill him, which means if we're have to, okay. We have to kill the plant in front of us, otherwise we die. This is gonna be scary. We're dead. No, come on. <laughs> well, we got a spin twist orb. I should not have taken it that early. And I also should not have accidentally passed one event, which completely ruined me. Contribute to damage or money while navigating. Give me uh, money, we've never taken it. Bob Orb would have killed it. No, not missing one event would have given me just enough extra power to survive. But also, we picked up a lot of garbage question marks that didn't give us anything. Could have been, that could have been played a little bit better. You know what, I'll just, uh, I'll chalk that one up to, oh man, I need some coffee still. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's that hits the spot. Now my brain is warmed up. All right, so try to, you know, we'll learn. Oh, 
We'll learn a lesson from that one. Don't take early, uh, Don't take an early Spintress payment. That's something that we're gonna want later. Man, I really wish I had poison right now. Good lord. If we don't lose any runs, we can get through the Crucibles quickly. Yeah, well, if you're gonna lose, at least lose on the first boss, right? In fact, how many runs of this game we're gonna have not enough to buy something, God damn it! How many runs of this game have I actually lost on like act three? Most of my losses are in act one because that's where the game is the hardest. You have no orbs. I don't know why I discarded. I thought I could discard to my um, dag orb. Definitely did not happen. The early game is the hardest because you don't have any good orbs in your deck and you struggle to kill basic enemies with pebbles. So I can't wait for when we actually get worse starting decks. <laughs> like you have uh, Ascender's Bane in your deck. That'll be great. It's been it's been suggested that that might happen, and I firmly believe it because it's a uh, you know it's spire like. Balm is great. Uh, Swolt orb's probably better. We'll take an early Swolt orb. I should have gone left. Let's go for the question mark. I think. Embrace the lightning. I will embrace the lightning. And then go, doesn't matter. I do like a good swole orb. Um, I guess we need to get access to the refresh. Let's work on that. Also gotta get access to the damn bombs. <laughs> there we go. Hit one of them. Should've aimed at the plant on that shot, that's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't actually hit the bomb. Look, it's not gonna be great to start with here. All right, Bully Ball, Double Poison, Best Foot Four Warb, not my favorite orbs. We'll start with the, start with the Ball Lightning, just so it's easier to actually hit things with it. Please don't take that much damage. Okay, get out of here. No, I took 20 damage. It wasn't worth it, it wasn't worth it. Seagus Jr., welcome. How are you doing today? <laughs> Best bounce ever, yeah. Rip, rip me. It was a very fast ball lightning. It also hit none of the bombs, which was very, very disappointing to me. There we go, we got one of them. At least they only hit you for one damage per turn, but even that is, uh, that's too much damage, man. There you go, hit a bomb. So it's just the spiders left. Crit. We get the refresh. Yeah, so that's another spider down. Spider down, man! Spider down! 
you have 74 money. See, now we have enough money that we can save, we can buy an orb, we can upgrade an orb, but that first fight, not getting 25 gold, sucks. <laughs> Do we want a buckle orb? Probably. Probably, but I also feel like maybe waiting just so that we have smaller amounts of better orbs. And I would like to fight the elite. You know, let's let's try to get two each orb we add to the deck, maybe we should strive to get each one upgraded individually first. Which is probably a good idea. I can't believe you missed the crit, but I also can believe it, because I didn't exactly aim very hard in that direction. This is one where we just need to hit the, uh, the Swolt Orb basically as quickly as possible. Because we have done essentially no damage to this enemy yet. And the refresh is in a bad spot, too. Oh, no. <laughs> and we missed the refresh. I think we're almost going to die right here. Rather, I think we are going to die right here. If you just hit the refresh. Oh, my God. This is what happens when the game doesn't make the refresh very easily hittable. All right, continue. One more into the breach. New game. You know, let, let, let's let's bring it back. Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Peglin. Jornker says this is how my Spire runs are going right now. <laughs> Spire as well can be um, very, very annoying if you hit you hit a lot of question marks. You take damage. You get curses added to your deck. You can't say no to these events. Fire is uh, very hurtful sometimes. Okay. Don't let him hide his deaths. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I don't even hide my frustrations. Okay. What do we need? What do we need to be better, both with luck and with skill, in Peglin? We need to get 25 bucks on the first level, which we have done. We can add an orb. I think we should, I, I think I'm gonna change my like play style a little bit as well. I think we should do a lot of combats, upgrade our orbs, minimal question marks, no elite fights before the first chest. Because if you find a difficult elite fight like that and you have no way of countering it, you're gonna die. When you have one or two orbs in your deck, you can't really do much. I'm going to take a bold orb. And now we don't have to worry about piercing in the deck. We have an orb that gives us piercing. Now we can focus on, you know, big single target damage like we're going to need for the boss. Very much love to get way more cash as well. You over discard pebbles early. You're taking a lot of reloads. The pr I mean, one reload or not one reload is not gonna win or lose the run. You know, we we need to we need to hit that refresh on that elite fight so that we can actually get the Swolt Orb buffing the same pegs over and over again. But the refresh was in a bad spot because there's only one of them on the board and they don't shuffle. Kind of makes me wish that the refreshes would shuffle between every shot, because the crits do, right? So why do the crits refresh, but the... <laughs> why do the crits refresh and move, but the refreshes don't? Not refresh, the crits move every orb, the refreshes don't. That's what I mean to say. The crits move, refreshes don't. Glass half ball, don't need it. Oh my gorb, destroys pegs, it hits, attacks all enemies, 913.
five nine Madness. I'm crazy. I'm off his gourd. I'm taking an oh my gorb. Also, you know what? Not hitting the fire like six times in a row also helps. Don't be so greedy. A madman. Third loss incoming. Here's my thinking though. We don't have to play the orb, but if we do, we can do a lot of damage to enemies. That was pretty cool looking. Wait a minute, this thing doesn't hit flying enemies, does it? Yeah, good point. So yeah, my thinking is maybe we can use Oh My Gorb to get through, need Morbid, doesn't work. Maybe we can use Oh My Gorb to kind of get through some of the early enemies. Having said that though, I am noticing, oh wait a minute, we have a lot of, you know, no pegs. We got a no peg situation here. Because it doesn't, it doesn't activate the peg. It destroys the peg. So you can't use Morbid, you can't use anything to bring them back. It's an interesting style. You, you basically, you use it for a killing blow and then you're done. That's why it's so dangerous. Swashbuckle Orb, money contributes to damage. Rub Orb, double poison. Ball lightning. I'm going to upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade the stupid orb. <laughs> the one that destroys the deck. I gotta I got a plan. The plan is use it. Hey, it's in the game, it's gotta be good, right? Mimic fight. So like, when when do you think we should use this? Early? It's gonna break a lot of orbs. It's not like we're hitting the refresh anytime soon. Let, let's pull that off for a minute. Oh my god. Okay, now we're gonna try to refresh back to it. His favorite sound in the game. I should have discarded this one. We're not gonna, gonna hit the crit. We are gonna take a lot of damage because that's just kind of what you, what happens to you in this game. Man, I really, oh my God. I don't know, do, do you, what, what's the best strategy here? Do you ignore the refresh or do you, do you try to go for the refresh? Because we can't kill him without hitting the refresh a bunch of times. We can hit the crit. Because the, the fact that they don't move until you hit him just makes fights like this kind of a pain in the ass. It's at, it's literally at the corner of the of the, the the map here. I feel like more than any other game, maybe you just are very much. Uh, punished by kind of RNG here in in Peglin. We've taken we've taken what 62 damage. Oh my god. <sighs> my gorb could have killed him early. You could have, or maybe not. We drew it. We drew it very early in the first reload, very late in the second reload. Nosferatu heals you and damages targeted enemy for one x the amount healed. You know what? I'm adding a healing orb to the deck. Spinfection damage increased by five. Oh, fantastic. Okay, I'm taking the health up. Now it's only like we lost 50 HP. <laughs> Where are we going? Left or right? I would like to go to the right. Remove an orb, remove all orbs.
All right. All right, let's do it. Picked up a lot of healing recently. <laughs> Left. Yes. Pegs are upgraded when they're refreshed. Why not? We're speed running the second half of this. I need some upgrades though. So now we have Ouroboros. Now this is an Ouroboros run. Say of that what you will. It's not going to be very good until we get uh, upgrades, so we're going to need 60 gold. Where's the refresh? Oh, it's at the very bottom! God damn it! I need to hit the bombs, too! Stop doing so much damage and healing. Ouroboros is not doing a lot right now. Get the refresh. Thank you. Then we reload. Ow, 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 ow. What is this refresh RNG? Oh yeah, it sucks. <laughs> okay, didn't hit the bomb. There's the bomb. He's dead. Uh, don't have enough for all of the upgrades, but we can at least upgrade it once. And then we'll go, I guess, left left and see if we can upgrade it right before the boss fight. Oh, it's more combat, huh? Yeah, how about that? It's like the one time I don't want to refresh immediately accessible because I want to be able to get down there and hit the bombs again. <laughs> Yeah, Peglin, it's, it seems very RNG heavy as you get deeper into it. And even a relatively simple change like making it so that you have, how did that miss the bomb? Like making it so that you have uh, only one reload and only one crit on the board at a time, it's very, very difficult. Because those reloads don't move, they're static until you hit them unless you have a relic that makes a move. That's why whenever possible, I do like prioritizing those types of relics. Anything that makes it so that the uh, refreshes move or get upgraded, I like to take. Now, I don't usually take things like um, orbs that grant me that ability, but maybe I should. Maybe that would be very beneficial for me. Isn't Abe's normal RNG getting every rare encounter in Bellatro in his first run before most people do it in a hundred runs? You can have both good runs and bad runs. All right, so refresh is there. Or maybe, maybe it's just requiring me to think about the refreshes a little bit more. Like we should be focusing on popping open the refresh wherever it is so we can grab it. Okay, that did not bounce the way I thought it would bounce. Our damage is getting better though. That's the, the point of the, the Ouroboros. After a, a couple of shots, it actually starts to get pretty good damage output. And then heal. <laughs> and you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the elite fight. All in. All in, man. This might be the best elite fight for us. Bard of Bobrich, welcome. How are you doing today? So I think we go for the crit, just to build power. 
Now take a bunch of random orbs to ruin the Ouroboros. Welcome, Chris. I will never follow your advice ever in a video game, so no. But also, how you doing today, buddy? <laughs> What's going on? Um, do we need the refresh? Not yet. Okay, we're gonna take the refresh. You need to anti-synergize for a real good run. Only in your life. Only in your, uh, uh, Peglin runs. Okay, reload. We will take damage, but not much. Green slime should die in one or two shots. I would love to hit the crit! Let's go. He only does like four damage or something, right? So he shouldn't, he shouldn't do too much to us. Chris says, I'm sleepy. Why are you so sleepy? Go to bed. I don't know, Abe, Chris seems to have more luck in this game than you do. I've got pretty okay luck. Positive slime. Crits give you spinesse. Orbs damage and crit are randomized. That's funny. That seems bad. Let's go for random slimes. Okay. For the first time in 41 minutes, we have made it to a boss. Oh my God, 41 minutes it took to get here? This has not been a very good, uh, <laughs> very good Peglin showing, has it? Luckily, I've got a scaling orb, though. Which means you're screwed, Leshy. Not a good day for the Peglin fans. Or maybe it's a good day because you get more Peglin. Um, probably hit that one. Try to avoid hitting the, hitting the vines because they do hurt. My damage, it scales, Mother Trucker. I'm coming for you. Minus the fact that he hits me for six like every other turn. Where's the refresh? Down there? Please hit the refresh. There we go, there we go. I, I, I'm not certain that we have the damage output, even with the Ouroboros worm. I'm getting very bad bounces in here. Um, trying to keep Trying to get the slimes and hit the slimes to get a little bit of healing out of this. That was a very good shot for breaking the vines. But I am still taking a lot of damage. Six hundred. That's tough, man. That's tough. It's getting it's getting tough. Life life is pain. Okay, we have to heal. We still have to heal. If we don't heal or don't kill him, we're dead. God damn it, come on. <laughs> I can't do any damage. I can only do like 100 damage per turn. 